Hey everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So today it's a continuation of my previous video, which was about, which was all about Isa. So in today's video, I'll be discussing all the questions which you have put in the comment section of that video, and I'll be answering each of them individually. So first, I will start with the questions which are about me and personal details or how 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 my life in Isa is and those type of questions i'll first answer the questions and then i will gradually go on to the iit and all those isers questions so the first question is by wang yi nine so it says that why i chose iser and what are my plans after this course or if i'm going pgs in abroad so for the first question i why i chose iser because i was i actually wanted to do research a lot inclined towards that field so i actually like chemistry very much so for that reason i chose iser and that's it so after this course i am obviously going for phd and the chances of me doing phd in abroad is higher because i want to use this opportunity of phd and to explore other countries and other places in the world so the next question is from marcus diary which says that uh, what i do in my free time and other than studying so in my free time i usually play guitar and sing songs which maybe a video of me singing will come up in the future and then i also play games like e football mobile legends and i obviously go to the gym mm, the next question from daiki is that if i'm single or committed so i'm actually not single i'm in a relationship right now so that's it and the next question says how did you get your parents to agree to a research oriented field <laughs> my didn't allow saying it doesn't bring in money so my parents are already in that line both of my parents are doing research so i easily got the approval from them and for the money part my parents are earning a decent amount of money in research so i think it's a safe side to say that yeah research can bring a good amount of money i'll say so the next question is in manipuri so i will try to translate what it's trying to say so what it's trying to say is that the guy who has written this has interest in research and gets inspired by my videos and she wants to know how i do my time management like all of these activities like youtube and along with all of my and along with my courses which i'm doing in iser my research my lab and then social life managing and stuff so which i will answer in manipuri so time management se aiju khangde uh I see the course me am ge like so pa ba I ge lab ki research to ba at YouTube to thakat ba so management je hard oi ado I je to da ba de ne khalaga tha ma da video ani about the upload to na bata oi ado ga along with I ge research to ba paper phone na ba ko na ma je to oi ado ga ado ma ga re ado ga social life se the I ge jo friend circle de ka phajana lai I maintain the way to toy, go about the lee, grouping the way. See my so the next question from Adrija is that uh, please tell us what I work on, interested and curious. Now, okay, so what what I work on is the synthesis of metal nanoclusters. Nanoclusters are particles which lie in the range of one to three nanometers. and i work on the synthesis and on the applications in other aspects like device making or biological fields and environmental applications like co2 reduction etc the next question is from supratim changma is can you tell me the regular schedule so basically for the first years the routine so the routine schedule differs from for each year and for each subject or major for the first years in the morning 
from 9 to 12 or 9 to 1 you uh, you have theory classes and then from 2 to 5 you have practical classes where you will do practical in physics chemistry biology so and after that you're fully free to do whatever you want maybe go to gym playing games or any side of and our every eyes organizes so many events on a daily basis like quizzes and everything games etc many of you have asked what my editing software and what phone which i shoot from so i use vn to edit my videos and i shoot from my iphone 13. the next question is about my life bsms from isa it's obviously i will post blogs about that and you can see how my life is and do really majority of students get chance to go abroad and study peace so relatively with other universities if you're in isa you get a better opportunity to go abroad because of the exposure and the experience you get here which you won't get in other research universities in india so going abroad and studying phd it's not like if you getting into either doesn't 100 percent guarantee your chance of doing phd abroad it depends on you it's like saying that if you get into iit you will always get a job with a very high placement it depends on how you work in the college if you publish any papers how much cgpa you have how is your interaction skills with the professors and stuff so all rounder when you are good at it what you do only then you have a chance of doing what you want which is uh, going for phd abroad or if you want to continue in india it's fine because right now pmrf and other scholarships has been introduced to help students do phd in india so it's entirely your choice if you want to stay in india or go abroad so for the people who have doubt regarding more about iit or any other regarding this field so one of my friends has recently started a mentoring platform which is IIT MentorX. So he's also an ISER student partnering with other research graduates. So at the only price of 249, you'll get all that is mentioned in the flyer. And if you use my promo code which is NIR050, then you can get 20% discount. To register for this, uh, you can take a screenshot right now and then you can scan the QR code which is present in the flyer or else you can go to the link which is in the description of my channel and under this video. So once you go inside, you will find a Google form where you will fill all your details. So that's it. So the next question is study with Pragati, well need experience, confused and what to go for bio, doctor research. So this is a very good question on career, what to choose, either you become a scientist through ISER, either become doctor from any medical college. So it really depends on you, what you like and what you want, because the two are different fields but they might have similarity on the working field might be not always necessary that a scientist and a doctor will have the same field so the thing is that if you're a doctor you learn that anatomy and everything and you treat the patients in hospitals and see check the disease diagnose them and stuff like that but when you're a researcher you spend most of your time in the lab where you will try to discover or invent new stuff and if you are in industry then you'll be trying to produce new medicines too and like cancer research and stuff and how st how the cells grow and proteins and all those which you are learning in your 12 so it clearly depends on you what you want to do is it treating patients or is it researching on all about these biological processes and stuff so this question can be applied to chemistry also or any other subjects which you want like physics also the next question is about biotechnology and microbiology and other courses offered in so when you take a biology major you will get all of these courses like all the iser courses have microbio biotech and other so many biology courses is there in each when you take biology major 
and if you want to do research more than that then in every azure either in every azure you will find professors who excel in this field and you can easily talk and work with them so the next question from Anvesh Tripathi says that does board affects our research in Azure? Uh, if I must say no, it does not affect that much. Obviously, the minimum criteria is 60% in boards which you have to get in order to give the IAT. So when you get into Azure, there will be tons of mentors who will help you. There, there are many mentors will help you in whichever part in whichever subject you're weak they will help you they will teach you from the very basics in which you are weak at so it won't affect much so if you really want to do research in chemistry then it's fine if you want it and if you're ready to work hard for it then you will find mentors you'll find professors who will help you and you will be able to do research in it so the next question by Tanusri Vivek is that is there any specific preparation required other than boards or J preparation? To be honest, for me, I mean, for for uh, for me, when I give the IIT exam, I did not prepare anything extra for IIT. So I did go through a bit of uh, NIT and J PYQs and IIT PYQs. So the questions were NIT. J and they had similar questions so that's the all I did and I don't think you need any specific preparation for IAT other than BOTS or NEET or J. The next question is about the BTEC course in Iser Bhopal. Yes, the BTEC courses are there and also the other courses which I mentioned previously in my videos. Yes, the courses are well and good and for the placements yes you can get placements in isers there are different placement cells which will help you get placements in different companies and get your job and the next question is can we crack iit if we start now so i don't know when you're starting so you're a psb sorry pcv student and it's tough for me to crack math so in my previous video i've already told about this taking three subjects out of four it will cost you some marks but try to see if you can attempt any of the maths questions i mean if you're if you are a pcmb in boards then it's easy for you because the maths questions are actually very easy in iit if you can see the pyqs so the next question says i really need more information about iit and what i should keep in mind so one of the things that i would say before you come into isa or prepare for the IIT. If you're seriously preparing for going to a research institute like ISA, you must really know that research is a harsh field and then it sometimes can be toxic. And I only encourage people to do research when they really love it. Otherwise, on the, on the long run, if you start hating the research, then maybe it can be a downfall for you. So before you take the step, please you know, think properly whether you should go for research or not. Like research means you have to keep on studying, you have to keep on doing stuff which are related to science and everything. Because the classes, the labs, the schedules are sometimes very hectic for you to handle. Sometimes you don't get time to rest. Sometimes you don't get enough time to play. So things like that happen. So if you really love science and if you really want to do more, do you, if you really want to contribute more, then please join. Otherwise, think twice before you come here. Once you come here, please do not regret. So the next question is that you have wasted your 11th and you want to get back. So it's never late to start again. You can just start taking up the books and going through the basic concepts of each and every subject and just start from zero and you will be able to crack the exam very easily. So many of you guys have asked me to do a video on preparation for IIT and how I, how I prepared for IIT. So I can only give you 
like how I prepared for IIT in my time and other than that I can't actually give you much idea on that because if I if it, see it's a very different feel from what I'm doing right now so if I go back on all those preparation chapters of uh, plus 2 then maybe it'll take me much time for which I'm not doing it I'm truly sorry for this but you can check out other youtubers which may post on this content but for me i will not be posting any videos on this topics some of the some of the tips that i can give for iit is that always study all the pyqs because the question lies in them like they will just change something and give it back to you and try to check all the important chapters and all the important questions which which might be available in other channels or other videos and in my time i also did the same i just prepared from pyqs and if you have a good and if you have a good foundation or concept in the subjects then you can easily ace through the exams so that's all for today like share subscribe and if you have any more questions then you can put them in the comment section until then we'll meet in the next video